yesterday's and today's park is Bayville Farms Park. We were here yesterday and it started raining in the middle of the day. So we um, went ahead and stopped and decided to come back today. So Bayville Farms Park is one of the best parks in the city, at least in my, my opinion. And it is very big, it has lots of stuff to do. So let me show you around. Once again, we have Freckle and Bear for our walk today. of the park they have frisbee golf which is lots of fun you take your frisbee and you go from that end over there throw it and try to get it in this basket and it's actually not as easy as it looks here's the map of the disc golf course so there's quite a few baskets out there it looks like it's a 18 hole course and once again this park has a really nice trail so if you want to get out and ride your bike or probably skateboard or roller skate or take a walk like we are this would be a great one to go to and here's one of the markers for the different golf course and right here is where you stand to throw it If you have to wait or you get tired or anything like that, they have a chair to sit on. That's always nice. That was the area of all the disc golf. And it's a, actually a really pretty big area. So next time, we'll show you some more of this park. Well, today we tried to visit Bayville Farms Park. And it's a really big one and it's a really nice one. But it started raining and it doesn't look like it's going to let up. So we are gonna head back home and we'll come back and finish it another day. And then I'll put the whole video together and you can see it. Right over here in this building are bathrooms. So it's always nice to have bathrooms close by. And there is a basketball court over here. And there are quite a few trails around here. Some of them are like sidewalks and some of them are like but it's nice that you can go down lots of different trails and also there's a nice big shelter over here with a charcoal grill and lots of picnic tables of course you can um, make reservations there or if nobody's using them you can go ahead and um, use them as a first come first serve basis and right over here is a beach volleyball area and Freckle and Bear are, well that's Freckle over there, and this is Bear over here, are our walking mates today. So they're going to check out the park with us. And this is something different from any of the parks we've been to so far. They have a shuffleboard area. Now I'm not real sure where you would get your shuffleboard stuff, but maybe if you have your own you can bring it. Go over the bridge. There's a nice little bridge here. <laughs> Not a whole lot that's bridging over. A little bit of a stream. Right over here, there are two dog parks. One of them is for small dogs, and one of them is for large dogs. And I believe there's a sign somewhere that'll explain that to you, so maybe we can find that. We just realized there's actually three dog parks. And here's another shelter. So, let me show you some regulations that they have. But it's really nice if you're having a party, something like that, maybe a graduation party, a birthday party, or even a, I know they do weddings in some of these parks too, so you never know. And there's actually some more um, picnic benches out in the woods. And over here to the right are 
are horseshoe pits. This facility was dedicated on May 9, 1979 in memory of Mr. Harold D. Harbaugh. Here's another large shelter with a grill and another beach volleyball. And out in the woods they also have a couple charcoal grills so if you don't get the shelter but still want to use a charcoal grill, there's some right out there. Here are the regulations for the dog park. So if you're interested in bringing your dog when they open these back up, there you go. And then it shows right on here, small dogs are less than 30 pounds and large dogs are more than 30 pounds. And from what I understand, they will change out the parts, but they let one of them, um, I guess, grow its grass back before they let dogs back out. And this is really cool where they have a gate. You go in here, you shut the gate, and then you go into one of the parks so no dogs get loose and out into the main area. And then they have a baseball field with bleachers over here. They probably play rec league games over here. And of course, like all the other parks, they have the doggy pot where you can pick up a plastic baggie if you forgot to bring yours. Then they have a second bathroom on this side of the park. Because this park is very large. And there's a second baseball diamond. And over here on this side are some tennis courts. And it also has a board that if you want to, you can just play tennis or practice your tennis by yourself. But it looks like there's three courts in that area. Wow, there are actually three more tennis courts over here. So in this park, there are six tennis courts. around it. That's just here because of the time it is with the virus. Closed all the amenities on the park at the moment. Here's some of the, the trail that is asphalt and Bear has been walking and walking and he is still full of energy. And over here are some basketball courts. So there's two different places with basketball courts. There's a second horseshoe pit and a third volleyball area. Well, that's the end of the tour of this park. This is Bayville park Farms Park, and they have really good walking trails and biking trails. They have some great shelters with lots of picnic tables, have two sets of bathrooms. They have Frisbee golf course. They have playground. They have a skateboard park. They have basketball, um, basketball courts. They have volleyball, sand volleyball court. They have horseshoe um, pits, and they have shuffleboard, um, shuffleboard, whatever you call shuffleboard things. And then they have three dog parks. They have some baseball fields. Just about anything you can think of at a park. So I think that's about it. And I would highly recommend coming to Bayville Farms Park. This is a really nice one. Most of it is in the woods, so it's nice and shaded when it's hot outside. And it's just a great place to come and have some fun with your family. So just remember to get out, have a little fun, and keep smiling. Bye.